Aloha everyone, it is the man, the legend, the myth, your boy Alan, back at you with a brand newish I Dream of Indie review. Today we're going to take a look at the RPG Choose Your Own Adventure Hybrid, published by Tiny Bull Studios, Omen Exitio Plague. Now this title originally released in 2018, however the developers recently made a graphical overhaul to this title, so that's why we're going to take a look. Now when Old Gamer Joe asked me to check this title out, I thought it might have been an FMV game or a visual novel, and I was initially disappointed when this game wasn't either. However, as soon as I started my adventure, I fell in love with this title, especially with how the RPG elements dictate the success rate of your actions. Your character has several statistics to manage via direct choices or experience point distribution, and these include fighting, observation, medicine, agility, and speechcraft. As the story progresses, you are given multiple options on how to proceed, and whether they work or not are dependent upon passing the appropriate skill checks. While this can become a bit problematic in later stages of the story, with not having enough points and failing constantly, the integration of the skill checks into a choose-your-own-adventure format was a refreshing design decision nonetheless. In this game, you play as Jake, a former physician-turned-soldier, and you are tasked with liberating the denizens of Zanzibar from their recently self-appointed ruler. From there, the story evolves into a tale of plagues, the occult, and secret societies, with a healthy dose of Lovecraftian flair peppered throughout your journey. Whether you pass or fail a skill check, the story continues and is permanently altered by your success or failure. With multiple achievements and endings based upon your choices, there is a ton of replay value to be had here. The best way I could describe the visuals would be an interactive book. The graphical overhaul is entirely based around the menus and the overall interface. Gone are the long load times with the clunky interface, and in are easy to navigate menus with smooth transitions and no loading. Honestly, I thought the changes were a nice touch, and never once did the menu overlays or navigation become a distraction on my journey. The art style in the game goes for a combination of vivid charcoal paintings accompanied by highly detailed stencil art drawings. I love the artwork. Utilizing the more vivid and abstract imagery of the charcoal paintings during moments of intense stress or savagery, and then falling back upon the highly detailed stencil art when interacting with other characters, or when in an industrialized setting, the composition here worked incredibly well with the story at hand. Now the music, albeit it's nothing offensive and at times it does help set the tone of what's unfolding, I eventually did just turn it off as it started becoming a distraction after a while. The use of the sound effects though were perfectly executed. Not once did I hear a sound and have to second guess what it was supposed to represent. Whether it was footsteps, murmurs, embers crackling, or heavy gunfire, I welcome the immersion that these sound effects brought with them. Again, for something that was essentially a graphical text adventure, a lot of effort was put in here. So at this point it should be obvious that I recommend this title, especially to anyone who is a fan of book games. The RPG elements are a lot of fun to experiment with, and while the story did get a bit off the rails at times, the experience was certainly a pleasant one to be had. With the Steam Summer Sale right around the corner, this might be the best time to snag this title and just embrace the experience. Again, this has been Alan here with I Dream of Indie saying sayonara and stay tuned for our next review. I Dream of Indie's goal is to give a voice to the voiceless in gaming. If you want to see more indie content, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and stay tuned to youtube.com slash I Dream of Indie for daily content uploads.